that fear creeps up inside the soul, inside the gut, inside the brain. We start projecting of, well, are people going to make fun of me? You know, am I going to look bad? Um, you know, are there's so many things that we can think of that is, you know, am I going to go backwards? Am I going to fail? You know, yeah. What are what is everyone else around me going to think of me? Uh, I mean, these are these are thoughts that I know I've had, and I, I don't know anyone who hasn't had them. But how do we get, as you say, how do we get through them? Not suppress them or get over them because that's those are avoiding and and not embracing, right? Mm -hmm. But how do we actually get through them? And one of the things that really helped me, um, I experienced a lot of anxiety, fear centered around golf when I wasn't playing my best. Um, you know, and these are irrational fears. It's not like I'm fighting for my life by any means, but you know, it really meant a lot to me and, and playing well did because it shaped my life. This was supposed to be my career, right? And so when I started playing poorly, I was started to get afraid standing over a shot. I'm afraid I'm going to hit it in the water. I'm afraid I'm going to you know, lose a golf ball and, and gain extra shots and then shoot a poor score and then I'm going to lose my spot on the team and then I'm not going to be able to be a professional golf. I mean, it was like one little thing created this cascade ripple effect for negative negativity in, in my mind, which felt real, but didn't even exist. Yeah. And the greatest, greatest lesson I learned was how much fear exists in the future. And then we pull it into our present to change our current actions instead of the other way around. We can take our current actions and push them into the future to create the, the experience that we desire. And it doesn't have to be one of fear. It can be one of embracing the unknown. It can be one facing that fear to understand our own courageous opportunity within us so we can grow as a soul, as a person, as our character, and show those around us, not from an egoic standpoint, but as an inspiration that we can do this and therefore so can they. Yeah, exactly. So reset, like the consistent mm -hmm. reset. If you feel that fear of the future based on the past, then you have the power of the pause as nice. we constantly call it, right? And remind yourself that, yes, I am afraid that this might happen. And that's something I watched you do in golf. If that mental fear hit you, you literally stepped away, took that pause, breathed through it so that your body actually reset, created a new mental model of success, then reapproached the ball. So it was a complete reset. And that took training. Mm -hmm. It isn't as though it's a once and done. And that is another key, man. We are going to say that so many times <laughs> because we all want the magic bullet. Come yeah. on. Like who doesn't? Yeah. But it isn't even this, even finding freedom from fear, not that it's going to go away, just having the tools to free yourself. It takes consistent, mindful practice and then understanding how to utilize it. Thank you.